before I start, I want to ask you, uh, what do you guys think about street racing? What do you think? Uh, I think it's like one of like the many communities that they have in like Chicago because like everybody has a little group and it's just like a really fun hobby because like the meets and stuff they're really fun people are really nice to each other everybody has like a common hobby everybody else very passionate huh very passionate very passionate very passionate right right okay so uh, next slide <coughs> so my initial uh, question was why street racing illegal but that's pretty obvious I mean it's dangerous and it's against the law. Um, so, my new question was now, why do people street race? Uh, next slide. And researching and looking at videos and stuff, I found this quote, and it says, The feeling of acceleration is one of the most popular adrenalines known, but do you know what even makes it better? Having someone to compete with. And that's how street racing begins. It's the adrenaline you get from going like zero to 60 in a matter of seconds and getting this rush is something very awesome. And yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, next slide please. Um, but there's more to racing than just being faster than another one or showing off your skill. Uh, most street racers encode values of themselves and respect for what they do. So meaning like these people built their cars and being able to build their cars and push them to the limits is something very awesome. And, you know, they start off from, from scratch, you know, like a beat up car and they make it even better than a newer car coming out of the lot. Uh, right here you see, uh, you know, two cars ready to race. Um, that's called a, a dig race, starting from the beginning, from zero to 60. There's a roll race where you start uh, maybe like at 20 or 40 miles per hour and then you take off from there. And there's the green light, uh, which they do at a track. Uh, next. Uh, this is actually my car, the bottom, right here. Uh, I bought it for a thousand bucks, pretty cheap, it was my first car. Uh, I put into it about six thousand uh, dollars, paint, mods, uh, rims and all that. And people ask me, like, why'd you put so much money into your car? Like, you could've bought something else. And I ask them, well, why do people buy so much clothes? And why do people buy, like, you know, all this stuff that, that they like to do? And I tell them, well, that's what I like to do. And this is my passion. Um, so yeah, uh, next slide. Uh, the culture behind it, uh, it kind of started when Fast and Furious came out. Uh, one of the greatest movies, I think, Probably all you've seen it, right? Raise a hand if you've seen Fast and Furious. You haven't seen Fast and Furious. You haven't seen Fast and Yeah, so, uh, so that's when uh, it all started. Like, Fast and Furious, people wanted to be like them, and they were like, oh, well, it's cool. And I don't, that's how I started. Like, I was like, oh, I want to get my car and like go to these, to these events. And it's not, it's like where you go to meets where you like meet up at like a local commercial place or like, 7-Eleven, Burger King, and you go there and you talk to your buddies about like, oh, what you've done to it, and like, we, and they help you out. It's like an environment, and it's pretty cool. I mean, it brings people together. I mean, mostly it doesn't harm other people. Supposedly it does, but uh, they do it in a secluded place. There's a time and a place to do this, and it's like they do it like in back of factories and stuff like that. It's not like they're doing it daylight and you know harming other people. Uh, uh, it's, you can't really see it, but it's, it's, it's a sport too, I mean, racing is a sport, just like any other, uh, and people don't do it, like, as a career, because they don't have the money or stuff like that, so they do street racing, uh, because to take your car to a track or something like that, it's a lot of money, you have to pay at least, like, a hundred dollars just to go and do that, and people would rather just take their car at ten at night on a Saturday night, drive to a local place and meet up there instead of spending all that money. Uh, next slide. Uh, oh yeah, this is good. Cool. It says, for many people it is hard to understand why anybody would think that car racing is a good thing. But those people fail to realize that there is so much more than their own opinion. And don't take the time to figure out the information that 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 
like the one that's engraved in their mind. So basically saying like social media like tells you that street racing is bad and like there's you know, it's just a negative view, but we like I had told you, like there's a culture behind it and uh, there's a passion for this, so uh, next slide. It's a video to just like to get a feel of Thousands of car enthusiasts gathered in Lombard and formed a caravan in honor of the Fast and Furious Dar. With the help of local police, participants lined up and slowly headed to Chicago. And then they headed to the south side and eventually made their way back to Lombard. Organizers are accepting donations for Walker's fund called Reaching Reach Out Worldwide. It's a nonprofit organization that provides relief to people after natural disasters. solutions street racing will still keep on going on it's a culture it's a passion and yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> 